Boom, we're live. Oh, <coughs> Bo, thank you for joining us, man. It's my pleasure. I've had a lot of fun doing these, even though we've had some, uh, some struggles, but uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a good learning experience for me, too. And hopefully it'll make me uh, a whole lot less nervous being here in front of you guys for uh, when I'm at Fabtech this year doing live demos. So um, I was actually just talking to everybody from uh, Everlast Office or Everlast Corporate, and I will be at Fabtech. If you guys are going to be down there in Atlanta for Fabtech, I'll be there all week um, in the Everlast booth doing live demos, uh, letting you guys run machines. I'm showing you some of the stuff we talk about on here. So if you're going to be in Atlanta for Fabtech, uh, come and find me. So tonight we had, let me get up on the up close cam. Oh, I'm way too close on the uh, focus. So we had had a bunch of questions about 2T, 4T, finger switch how to run them, set them up. So I actually did a, a roll cage install this weekend where I prefer to use the, uh, the finger switch. So show you guys some basic setup on these. Uh, I'll show you like a real simple 2T setup, which let me zoom back in. So you can see, whoop, my finger's huge on here. We're on 2T, no pulse right now on DC. So this is going to run, uh, basically the finger switch is just going to act as an on-off. So on arc, I'm set to 131 amps, as you can see on the, uh, the machine on my 325 EXT. So no pulse right now. We'll just start up and uh, do a couple real quick runs. I've got some scrap tubing over here I was practicing on earlier this week. So I told you guys I was going to try to have this be semi semi informational so i've got some scrap tube let's go ahead and uh try to get you guys an arc shot show you what we can do with the finger switch and just some straight dc um i'll run through a couple settings like uh pulse how to set up a pulse on the uh the trigger which is what i was using this weekend like i said doing a roll cage um, running a pulse setting. Um, so when you're like tucked up upside down in the back of a car or in the trunk of a car doing a roll cage, having the, uh, the finger switch is really, really helpful. So let's get started. We'll run a couple beads on this scrap tube real quick. I've got some uh, very, very poorly fit up, just real quick scrap cut tube. This is 083 uh, inch and a half chromoly. And then right here, we've got some two and a half inch uh, 065 wall uh, mild steel. Let me turn my machine down a little bit. I had it set up to do pulse on that chrome molly. All right. So I'm down at 71 amps. Again, we're running 065 wall mild steel. No pulse, just straight, straight amperage. And this is some dirty tube. So let's get, see if we can make this work. I had to, uh, I was doing some testing with the arc shot cam. And so if I'm a little out of the frame, let me know guys and I can adjust the camera a little bit or adjust where I'm aiming it at. So just press and hold that finger switch. You see, we just got a straight, straight current. Oh, and it locked up, of course. Yep, I'm going to try to scoot back a little, scoot my head back a little bit. I think I was a little close on that one. Oh, hey, Derek. Yeah, if you guys 
haven't checked out the Everlast YouTube channel yet, um, a video I did just dropped yesterday on how to properly like maintenance the machine, how to clean it out, um, kind of like my weekly routine. And then, oh, my every, you know, two to three month routine of taking the machine apart, blowing the boards off, and then uh, adjusting the, the points real quick. The points video has not come out yet. Um, I think we thought we had released that video already. So a little premature, they were supposed to go points and then cleaning, but uh, I posted the link to the um, points adjustment video on TikTok, which even if you don't have an account, you should be able to view it. It's a real quick snapshot of that video, but it goes over the basic points of uh, how to adjust your points. All right, so let's try this real quick. I'll try to scoot back a little bit. So again, we're just using the finger switch in 2T. All right, we got the art cam there. Let me tighten this up a little bit. All right, let's zoom in on the machine settings again. Whoa. I'm zoomed in from far away, so it's all over the place. All right, so let me run around and we'll talk about some settings we're going to change real fast. All right, so rolling through, you can see we, uh, we're just running 2T, no pulse at the moment. I also, I'm at 10 amp start, which we can even go down. Oh, 10 amps on a minimum, I forgot. So I've got no upslope. So let's go to a two-second upslope, 71 amps, and then let's go to a one-second downslope at five end amps. Let's go back. Again, we're running no pulse. Here in a second, we'll switch it over from Oh, you can't see it down here in this corner, but I'm on high frequency TIG here in a second. We'll switch over to lift TIG and we'll go over uh, some 2T and 4T settings on lift TIG. All right, so now that we have an upslope and a downslope, when I, when I push the... Uh, oh, So when I push this trigger, it's going to start my gas, and then it's going to come in at 10 amps, ramp up to my 71 over two seconds, and then when I release the trigger, it's going to downslope for a second down to my minimum five amps. Um, outdoor zone, what scenarios do you use 2T the most? For me personally, most of my stuff is here at the bench. Um, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm pretty much a bench welder, so... You know, you can talk shit if you want, but I'm a bench welder, so I don't use it that much. Um, generally, when I do use it, it's going to be like doing a roll cage. Like I said earlier, I was doing this weekend. Um, roll cages, using the two, like the 2T and the finger switch um, with like a pull setting is, it's a lifesaver. I mean, it's a godsend. Instead of you're trying to like chicken wing the pedal and hold filler rod or do the thigh master with the pedal. It's a lot easier just to use that finger switch, and then you kind of got to play with it and set up a good pulse setting for you, kind of dial that in, um, and I'll go over uh, my pulse settings here in a second. <clears throat> but let's show this uh, 2T with an upslope and downslope real fast, and then we'll get into uh, 4T, and then we'll do lift TIG. Try to get a, uh, oops, sorry, guys. Try to get an arc shot of this so you guys can see it. I'm still trying to push the pedal underneath my table. So there we go. Arc's coming in nice and slow. So I'm up to my 71 amps running along. I let off. And it dies down real slow. God damn it.
All right, let's see if I can get the uh, up close cam to work real quick. I got too many things and not enough hands. There we go. All right, so we'll do the up close cam. Man, I just put a new tin foil hat on it this this afternoon. I thought we'd be good. I like triple wrapped it. So, all right, let's do the up close cam again. We're running uh running the finger switch on a two T up slope and down slope. So hopefully you guys should be able to see this art come in nice and slow. So it's ramping up. We're up to our set maximum amperage. I let go of the trigger and it tapers down nice and slow. Man, I'm running Reynolds wrap. I'm running the good stuff too. I don't cheap out for you guys. <laughs> All right, let's try this arc shot. Gosh, I locked it up before I even got there. All right. Let me try to scoot way back. Apparently we're gonna have problems tonight after having a pretty good week two weeks ago. So I'm getting ready to release arc tapers down. God damn it. All right. The joys of a, a live show. <laughs> Let's bust out our Reynolds wrap real quick. Try to put another another layer on this thing. So you guys are going to have a hard time seeing it without being on the arc shot. <laughs> oh well it's uh, a lead sheath might do it definitely not for a lack of effort on my part so <laughs> those of you that have been with me for a couple weeks know my struggles all right arc shot cam 10th time retry so again, 2T with an upslope, two-second upslope from 10 to 71 amps, and then a one-second downslope from 71 to 5 at termination. So we release the trigger, tapers off nice and slow. <laughs> hey, you guys got jokes tonight. All right, let's try this again. So hit the trigger, two-second ramp up. Release, taper off. How'd that, how'd that look, guys? trying to, uh, I said I, I took the camera off this afternoon to uh, rewrap it. I want to make sure I got it adjusted correctly. Oh. So let's throw in a couple more with that upslope on the arc shot cam. And then you guys tell me how it looks and we can adjust before we move on.
to release slow taper. There we go. All right, so if that's looking good, let me, uh, we'll go back. Let me try to get this up close cam back on the machine. So I am going to show you guys uh, what happens if you do not set this up on straight 2T. If you set it up on 2T pedal, you're only going to get your start amps. So let's go ahead. I put my hood right in front of the camera. All right, so right here, 2T. We can cycle through 4T pedal. 2T pedal. Now, when you're using the finger switch, I'll show you guys what happens. Just in case you, you're trying to run 2T and you're not getting your correct amperage, show you what happened, what might be the problem and something to look for. So again, we're on 2T with the pedal, which is where you do not want to be. So we'll go arc shot cam. There's my 10 amps. So 2T with the pedal, it's expecting to see like a, a reading from a potentiometer and obviously using the trigger, that's not what we have. So we're just gonna get our 10 amps. So if you go to set up the finger switch and you hit it and it's just staying at a low amperage and your machine is set higher, you're only gonna get your, your start amps. So that was my, my 10 start amps. So let's go back and we'll set up a 4T program real quick. So we're at 4T. Again, it'll go 4T pedal. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see that because of the lighting here. So we're on 4T pedal. It'll do the same where you just get your starting amperage. So we're going to go just 4T. And what that's going to be, it's going to be a click to start, like a click and hold to start, a release, it'll upslope, and then click, it'll start down sloping, and then release, and it'll terminate. So it's not, it's not four clicks of the trigger. It's click, 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 four clicks total. So I got click on, and then it'll start at your uh, start amps, release it, it'll upslope, hit it again, it'll hit and hold, it'll start down sloping and then release and terminate the arc. So let's, uh, let me turn the volume down on my microphone. I'm not trying to blow your eardrums out. All right, arc shot cam, picture in picture. All right, so 4T. So we're going to hit the trigger. You can see we got our start amps release. It comes up. So my finger is not on the trigger at all right now. Hit the trigger again, back down to our minimum amps. Release and terminate. Yeah, so just to explain that again, so 2T is going to be down and up. That's start and stop. 4T is down to start, release to upslope or to go to your main amperage. So you go from, basically you figure 2T is two steps, start and current, and then it ends. Whereas 4T is your start amps, your max amps, your min amps, and then terminate. So that's the best way to uh, describe it. Let's do it again on the uh, arc shot cam. And I'll try to uh, hop on 
telling you what I'm clicking. So we click.